Temporal Log number two by Papa Lima November. Actually, eh? Temporal Log number three by Papa Lima November, entry number two, where we have been attempting to survive various weird worlds, and it looks like this time I am in a world where the end has invaded. First, we had the nether invade us. Then we have an invasion of the end. And if I survive this, I'm not even too sure. I want to know what's going to happen then. But this is one terrible proposition. And I have no idea how far these A slime? A slime block? In a dark forest? Oh, that was strange. And I th I thought everything else I've been seeing was strange, but that's even stranger. Let's see if I can reach the other island, which is my current goal. All right, let's see. All right, that was... I almost slipped there, so I have to be careful here, because if I slip, I am doomed. And we don't know if what would happen, because I know one time I wound up repeating history when I fell during the... when I was in that nether world. So, first we had a world where time was weird. Then we had a world where the nether was taking over. Now we have a world where the end was taking over. I don't think there are any more dimensions for things to get weirder, right? Well, I am going to have to hope that that we get someplace that's a lot closer to normal next time. I think, I think there is hope here that I can make it all the way across. Maybe even before it gets to be night. Oh boy, it is so far away. And I'm doing this on a tightrope. <sighs> Ouch. So close. So desperate. I think maybe I'll need a little shelter there. Is that something? Is that a bat? What's a bat doing down there? How am I able to breathe? That's another matter because it looks like it's highly unlikely an atmosphere will be able to hold on to heat this place. Well, I don't know, but here we go. Slowly, slowly, slowly. We are still, uh, it just feels like forever, but I think we're still in the early parts of the day. Well, that's good, which means I might be able to get something. It looks like I'm starting to get close to. Uh -huh. Well, there is that problem there. I see a skeleton there. Once I do get across, there's the matter of the denizens, who probably aren't going to be very friendly to agents such as myself coming across and trying to wreck their day. But at least I know it's doable, so maybe I can. Well, I do. I do have to make sure that I. Get across here before the flyers do, okay? But I think there are some basic necessities over here, which is something that is lacking where I live right now, because I see some mushrooms. So I might be able to grow some mushrooms. Ooh. It seems to be quite a bit on that island. Unfortunately, it's a... All sorts of nasties live there. And when all sorts of nasties live in a place, 
Yeah, now I'm starting to pass by areas. Let's get this careful. 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 Yeah, this is, this is, oh, I, I can see land below me. Unfortunately, not directly below me, but that's another matter. Yeah, see if I can. Maneuver to a better spot. Looks well. Looks like no. Actually, I better work on that. All right, there you go. Could I even? Well, I don't want to be actually in a on this side at the end of this day because I have to worry about nighttime at this place, and I don't want to be here until tomorrow so I would be in a place because once I land here I'm gonna be stuck here yeah I'm gonna be stuck here well, as soon as I make landing on top of those trees I don't think there's any other way for me to get back up well I suppose there is a way to get back up here well I guess I answered the question whether or not that tree will grow It did grow. Well, that's good to hear. Or good to know. <sighs> well, still not safe to get down, though. And it's also near the ending part of the day. So I am just going to head over, harvest that tree and take a little break for the rest of the day because I need it after all of this. And at least now I know that tomorrow I can get across and maybe I could get things down to a nice safe level and get all nice and settled before the creeper comes and blows me to pieces because that's what happens. Creepers come and blow you to pieces. That is their job. Yes, I am doing this nice and nice and carefully because I do not want to go and trip over the end and fall flat on my face and die and all that fun stuff. Because that would not be fun at all. I don't think it will be fun at all. It doesn't seem to fulfill my definition of fun. Of course, the last few... Sessions I've been having around this place haven't exactly been my real definition of fun either, but that's another matter. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think if I do want things to go a little bit faster, how about if I do this? So it looks like I am going to have enough wood in order to get all the way across. So let's make this wide enough so that I can actually get across with too much without too much trouble. Because right now I just feel like I'm taking everything into my hands whenever I do that. It's and I could chop down that other tree when Things start to get dark. Actually, how about if I just do it this way? This isn't as bad as when I when I knew there was nothing behind me. Actually, better idea. 
Yeah, like that. Much better. A lot faster. A lot less uncertainty. And the sun is setting. All right, that is enough for the moment. Whew. Now, let's head across here. Take a little rest and swing a little axe to. I should have plenty of wood, of course, once I... Oh, yes, of course. There is the fact that I am lacking something very important here, and that's light. Unfortunately, there isn't much I can do about that. The moon is starting to wane. And there you go. And there you go. I think this is far enough up. It's not like I'm doing a large spruce tree or jungle tree where you need to really get up in order to be able to do anything. Yep. Yeah, we'll do that. Good. Oh, boy. It is dark here. You know, there's a reason why I like to make torches and go mining when it's nighttime. Because it's dark in, in this situation. And I can't see. There you go. Ooh. Now let's get this done. I think this is the last I'll be needing from the point of view of of logs in order to get across. Let's see how much of this I can collect. Good. And for good measure. Alright, let's see. We've got this here. We've got ooh, plenty of that stuff. Now, I'll see if I could, just in case I'm needing to, maybe I can even find an apple or two in here. That would be nice. It would be wonderful. It would be useful. Which is why it's not happening. <laughs> uh, oops. How about a tree with no saplings? That would be simply wonderful. Well, what all can I do? Well, there isn't much yet. It just for a... How far is that? Oops. How far is that away? Let's see. I am right here at let's see minus of forty two. And here. So about minus two for there, so that's about forty, maybe eighty. Amazing I can see that far. Well then, I'm hoping that not too much, because yeah, I see some nasty stuff down there. So I have to be careful. So it's not as far as I think if I can see nasty things down on the other side. There you go. And yeah, tomorrow I will be able to have 
actually finish my little bridge and get there and maybe find a safe place to inhabit. Now, there isn't much underground in that area. If I want some nice, deep underground space, I'm going to have to head on further inland, which might be a good idea if I'm going to try to find a resources and a haven. go because right now it looks like there are some nasty things see we're at 48 so we're at 90 away hmm. yeah quite a distance but it looks like I will be able to make but I certainly don't want to try to do the delicate stuff in the day, so that's 64, 107. Hmm, let's. And of course, we've got spiders up all over the trees. We've got a zombie horde there. Now, we do have both colors of mushrooms, so you can get some mushroom stew without too much difficulty, I would think. And I even have some extra wood left after all of this. Hmm, maybe I could make it three white to really reduce the chance of me doing something 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 really crazily stupid but I obviously need to find some sort of a base there now we do have that island there now, is that a further island or is that an extension of this oh that's a further island I think so this might be the better place to, but how do I get down there that's going to be the real tricky bit especially with these patrolling skeletons they're, they're patrolling on top of the mushrooms and on top of the trees good grief that's not going to be good at all at least not if I want to stay alive now speaking of hoping to stay alive let's see what's happening with the oak over there. See if I can get some saplings because I only have three saplings. Of course, I've got an entire forest that I'm about to reach tomorrow. So we do have that. But if I do have to retreat to this place, to this spot of safety here, I will hope to at least be able to get some more resources. No, of course, it's not going to be very safe at night, I think, because, yes, right now, we haven't seen any of those death birds, but they usually wait until the fourth night before that happens, and I'm pretty sure that, oh, that's right, I don't have to worry about that. Why am I being so circumspect there when... Ah, I can already, ooh, the moon is setting. Oh, how about that? I did miss a few. That's what I get for trying to chop down a tree at night. <sighs> well then. No wonder I couldn't do anything. There you go. And that. All right, now. Let's see if I can get saplings. Oh, and it seems to be getting into the daytime now. Yay! Sunrise! Yay! Then that ends. Entry number two for log number three for Agent Papa Lima November, where things are really dire here at whatever dimension I'm in now, where the end seems to have invaded over the world. This is Papa Lima November signing off.